we check our saddles for balance, straightness, tree angle. Tree angle was when we make sure that the saddle has a matching angle to the horse's shoulder. Now we're going to talk about tree width. Saddle comes in different width and it's important for the horse's shoulder to go through. You all as a rider want horses to move free in the shoulder and the saddle should not be in the way. Let me demonstrate how the horse's shoulder moves. When I lift up the horse's leg and pull the leg a little forward, you can see how the shoulder moves already. Now the shoulder goes upwards and it goes backwards to the stage. You can use a piece of chalk and find where's the shoulder now, right here. And now when I put the leg down, you go right back where the shoulder ends and you can see here, that's where it starts. So the tree width is important so that this action, what every horse has, is free and it doesn't restrict the horse's movement. Let me put a saddle on and show you how you can see if your horse matches his wide shoulders to the tree width of your saddle. You put your saddle on the horse's shoulder, slide it back. We can see that the pipe matches the shoulder angle, so we checked that earlier. We can see we have two to three finger clearance all the way around the withers. And we have a saddle, very wide tree width, which is very deceiving because if I would look just at this withers and how narrow he is, I would say he needs a narrow tree. But we keep in mind that this area where my hand is, the shoulder would rotate like a piston upwards backwards. This is the area what I'm trying to free up in movement. So that's why this has to be very wide because his shoulders is wide. Let me put a saddle on what is too narrow in the tree width. So I put this saddle on the shoulder and slide it right back. First look, not so bad. Pipe almost in the same line as the shoulder blade. You can see here, we got clearance, but not enough. If the shoulder wants to go through here, there is just no way. You can see how narrow this is, and with a guarantee the saddle will move back and forth, goes back, I might put a breastplate in, will hold it in space, but I'm gonna put a lot of pressure against the shoulder, which would really limit his freedom in his movement. We just finished the nine steps of saddle fitting. Thanks to Ted here, who is a good partner. I hope this helped you a lot to protect your horse from long-term damage, which can't fix anymore. Lots of behavior issues is caused by ill-fitting saddles. I hope you are not going to lose your friend, your buddy, your partner, like I did, through ill-fitting equipment. Today we have enough technology, equipment, to protect our horses. We have thermography, fire up the cameras, computerized saddle pads. Hopefully you don't need to go through the steps and this video helps you. If you look for help, we actually as a saddle service do all over North America on-site barn visits. We repair saddles right there on site. Actually the saddle service have the patent adapt tree which is able to fit and adjust the saddle to all horse and riders. Please give us a call so we can help you and your horse.